Okay, this is the internal organs model. I'm highlighting primarily the pancreas. Okay, so number one is the body of the pancreas. It's this section. Two is the head of the pancreas. Three is the tail of the pancreas. And four is this pancreatic duct. It's the white in there. Five is the accessory duct. Six is the papilla major. Seven is the papilla minor. Okay, that's the connection between the ducts here, okay, and that small intestine. Um, number eight is the duodenum, okay, that first section right here of the small intestine. Um, the right and left adrenal glands, okay, are here. Twelve is the right adrenal gland. Thirteen is the left adrenal gland. Um, Fourteen is the right kidney. And fifteen is the left kidney. Um, the renal surface of the spleen, the gray here is the spleen, its renal surface is right here where it contacts the, um, the kidney. The gastric surface of the spleen chilled, is right here, okay, where it contacts the stomach. The gallbladder is 26. Um, the cystic duct is 29. The hepatic ducts, duct is um, 30. And the common bile duct is 31. Okay, and then I think we're going to come back here and get some vessels. The celiac artery, we've labeled this, this as the celiac trunk before. This is the celiac um, artery here. The hepatic artery is right here. Okay, hepatic 35, hepatic artery. This would connect to the liver. We only see a little piece of the liver here and it's not connected, but that would be 35 is the hepatic artery. Um, the splenic artery is this one. Okay, it comes across, it's labeled 39, and it is coming to the spleen, going to the spleen. Um, then the portal vein, we expect to be purple, 41 portal vein. The right renal artery is right here. That is number 49. 51 is the left renal artery renal flow with the kidney. And then we have the right ureter, 54, and we have the left ureter, 55.